Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello. My name is Jaylene Marie Cruz, and if you're not new here, welcome back. There is no time this month for a reading slump, okay? That is not possible. We're, we're just gonna have to pull through. <laughs> we're just gonna have to keep going. There is a lot of books that I really want to read this month, and I'm super excited to show you guys because there are some books that I literally put off that I had. I try to do physical TBRs. I have a list, like I, I have lists literally on my notes app where I have books. Y'all see how all of these are empty or not checked? Those are books that I added but didn't read. I'm a mood reader so I can't. That's my only excuse all the time. I'm a mood reader. When I try to put lists together, I try to do, because I do read on my phone, so I try to do like five sometimes physical books or like five like ebooks, but um, sometimes that doesn't really work out. Sometimes I will go a month reading literally all the books on my phone or a lot of books that I have, you know, physically, but it's just like Let's get into some of the physical books that I really want to read. The series that I really want to read and I have been putting off for so long is the Akatar. Okay, why am I like mixing it up? Is the Akatar series. I don't have all the books. I've been collecting the books one by one by one. My Walmart has like the whole series. So every time I go to Walmart, I'm like, okay, let me just pick up the first book. And if I pick up the first book, obviously the second book has to be picked up and then the third book. I have never read, I don't think I've ever read any books by Sarah J Maas before. I'm really excited to start this series. I have heard so much about this series. Jaylene, read this. Hold on, let me put these down real quick. But shout out, if you're coming from my bookstagram, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much if you're watching. I posted on my story the other day, or was it yesterday? I was having a, a really rough couple days and um, one of the girls really made my night. So I really appreciate it if you're coming from, from my bookstagram. Um, I love you guys so much, thank you. <laughs> like I said, I really want to read Akatar. To be honest, there were so many names. Oh my god, this is gonna be so funny, but I'm the type of person that if I don't know a name, I will literally look it up. So I was like, Akatar name, like full list pronunciation, because I don't want to get any names wrong. Um, So there was this lady and she's just like, all the names and like the books, I, I'm guessing, she pronounced all of them and I was like, okay. I'm just, I'm really excited to start this because I'm having the most major FOMO. I know I'm like pulling out books, but um, will I probably get through all of these? I don't know. Books that I want to read for October slash October hopefuls because I can't. I can't make any, any excuses anymore. I probably won't read all of them. I have been missing some of L. Kennedy's books and I completely love the Off Campus series and I really want to start the Briar U series and I have the first book of the Briar U, um, The Chase. I believe this one is in the Off Campus series, Dean's Sister Summer. I have been missing like some hockey romances i've had i've read some really good hockey romances this year already i know not everybody is a big fan of uh, it's called pucking around and pucking wild that jackson R jacksonville ray series by emily rath absolutely love the books so i've been missing like some hockey romances here and there and i believe she is starting to do like the off-campus like kids generation <laughs> in the off-campus like their kids. The newer book I believe is called The Graham Effect with Garrett's and Hannah's daughter. I'm super excited for that book as well. I really want to just read and keep going and read reading more of O. Kennedy's books. This next series I have been seeing everywhere. I remember when the third book came out. That was all I was seeing on my like Instagram like feed. Um, and that is the Knock em Out series. I have the first book here, Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I have never read the Lucy Score book before and I know she has books. <laughs> here, I feel like I have books that I put on my Goodreads that I want wanted to read by her, but I have heard a lot of mixed reviews on all of the books. Somebody would be like, this one's my favorite, I hated this one, or I didn't like this one. So I really wanted to read it for myself and I'm super excited. I believe this one is about Knox and Naomi. Sorry, Naomi is on the run not just from her fiance and a church full of well-wishers but from her entire life that sounds interesting as it is <laughs> so i'm really excited to start this last month i read a good girl's guide to murder and i absolutely love that one i am trying to read more mystery and thriller like books because after i read the inmate by frida mcfadden i absolutely love that book because it literally was it kept me on my toes i was like what i was like <gasps> until the ending and i was like what but anyways like i said i read a good girl's guide to murder last month i gave up book 4.5 loved it so i hopefully maybe this month because i feel like the series is giving very much like fall 
so i really want to read the second book and this one is good girl bad blood by holly jackson i really want to see remember my september wrap-up i said i really want to see um more of and ravi because i really love them together so um i just want to see more because it was so interesting i loved it and really want to continue i feel like i haven't been giving too many or i haven't been saying any dark romance books yet but I absolutely am a big fan. I am a dark romance type of girly. I love a good dark romance, mafia romance. I'm all for it. But I have here Haunting Adeline by H.C. Carlton. Oh my gosh, I love H.C. Carlton. She is the best. I'm literally in her Facebook group. Like I, I follow everything that she does. I, I love her book so much. I have read Shallow River, Um, Does It Hurt, Um, Satan's Affair. I remember that I started Haunting Adeline and Hunting Adeline and I didn't read satan's affair first so when i found out there was satan's affair i was like what because i remember seeing this book this was my first dark romance book i loved both books i think i want to reread haunting adeline because i'm obsessed with zade meadows i'm obsessed just like how zade is obsessed with adeline obsessed <laughs> like i said for the month of october there are so many books books that are being released and i'm super super excited after you see this video it's already out but i'm currently reading wildfire by hannah grace and i'm absolutely loving russ and aurora so far you know you could do like update your progress on goodreads and i remember just like writing something about like like the family dynamics in the book with aurora's parents and her dad and um russ's just like family dynamic i remember writing and i was like it, you know it's it's this book is definitely it brings out a lot because i have divorced parents and it's bringing because oh i can't i'm like stuttering it's bringing like a lot of issues <laughs> um to always think back about because i'm like wow it's definitely hard when you have you know two sides of a family that don't connect anymore and you know i'm the eldest sibling so i remember saying that i i play like mediator because that's what i feel like i'm trying to do um i know it's not my job but in the book i'm i'm just i'm loving how it is um because i'm not done yet i'm like oh, i think i'm after like 80 percent really excited to finish it and just get my thoughts together but i'm loving it so far <laughs> the next book that i'm really excited for is called caught up by liz tom ford and i remember reading oh my god i'm literally forgetting the names of the books but i know it was evan zander wait no no that is his name and ryan shay right two books that i read by her that i loved was the it was called mile high and the right move and i remember loving those books the whole series is called windy city like series i'm ready for the third book caught up it's a base i think it's a baseball like slash nanny trope so i'm really excited to read about kai because that he was mentioned i think in the first book i don't remember but i remember he was being mentioned and i was like okay he has a son and he cares so much about his son his little boy but i'm really excited for that book this month there are two books that i want to read this month and there are they are like an interconnected like i think i don't know if they're interconnected interconnected and you can read them as a series I don't remember or like standalones but it is a series and it's called tattered tattered curtains by Greer rivers i remember reading phantom by her and i absolutely was obsessed that book was a six star read for me um it's a phantom of the opera retelling and i remember just falling in love with the book the main character or the female main character she has a bipolar disorder and the male character he's just giving very much you know touch her don't be don't be rude to her don't he was a super protective and he literally knew so much even though she didn't know him because you know he was like he's it's a phantom of the opera retelling so he's like wearing a mask i fell in love with the book the plot the just the storyline the way the book flowed i loved so it was just like six stars for me um so this month i want to read the second book rogue and that is in the series as well the next book in the series is called dreadful and i was honestly super excited because i remember signing up i wanted to be on like her arc like i think it's like her arc team like i'm i'm new to all of that like arcs and reading advanced copies um so i'm kind of learning like what are the terms i was so grateful to receive an arc for dreadful the third book and i'm super excited i'm like so happy to read it this month and i'm super excited to read my first arc like it's so crazy like reading your first arc is like so cool like you get to read it before like anybody else so i'm super excited to read those books there are a lot of mainstream books that are you know coming out like hopeless by lc silver we have um king of greed by anna hong and then we have carnage by chantelle tessier i'm obsessed with chantelle like i literally love you i love the ritual i love the sinner like the whole series please <laughs> 
me. I'm really excited for Carnage. I say I'm obsessed, but then I can't remember any names. <laughs> Another book that I really want to read is called One Dark Window by Rachel Gillick. Um, I have seen Sarah read this. Um, I don't know if Destiny has, has read this book. I don't remember if she did, but I've been seeing a lot of people read it, and I remember seeing a, like a lot of books, book talk videos of this book as well. I don't even know what the book is about is it about dragons spirit trapped in her head he protects her he keeps her secrets but nothing comes free for, for free especially magic i don't know we will see if it's good because i've just been seeing a lot of people love it and read it so i really want to read that book as well this next book y'all i'm i really need to read because i i've heard the main character is giving very much green flag out on a limb by hannah bonham young and i really want to read this book i think i think i, re I really need to stick to because i don't want to burn out like i don't want to burn out this month with all the books that i really want to read so i'm just gonna take it slow i know uh, i know out on the limb is very much pregnancy trope i know everybody's not a big fan of those but when it, when a pregnancy trope is done right that's when i like the book because <laughs> there are some books where it's just like oh okay i definitely want to read like october like spooky novellas i really want to throw in some october novellas so if you have any recommendations of like some spooky novellas please let me know because i know one of one of the novellas that i really want to read is called scream for us by molly doyle <laughs> i've seen kiara lewis she's like a book talker read this like novella and she was enjoying it and it's very much spicy that's one that i really want to read I feel like I'm just spewing books left and right. Books that I want to read. I just, there's just so many books. Like, I think I'm like blacking out. Another book that I want to read, it's by Stephanie Garber and that one's Caraval. I know there's like another series, Once Upon Something, that people have loved as well. But like, I've heard that, you know, people should read Caraval Legendary. And I forgot what the third book is called, The Final. I really want to start Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I saw it in my library, so maybe I will like take that out and read it. If I see a book, like if, if, it's, if it's over on my page, Page, like any type of feed i will put it on my list because if i'm seeing it so many times it's a sign to read it but one of those books that i have been seeing i've seen for like months and months now that book is called dark note by pam godwin and i've and i've heard that book is like crazy like spice really really crazy so i think i really want to read that as well last month in my september wrap-up i remember talking about me reading like books that are completely out of genres that i you know don't normally read i'm just gonna say it i read a, Sp a spider mates trilogy I didn't read the trilogy but i read the first book in the trilogy and it's called the spiders M the spider's mate by tiffany robert and i read the first book and i really really liked it like it's, it's a spider's mate <laughs> and i liked it so i think this month i want to read or would like to read the second book and it's called enthralled i think it just like continues yeah it, it continues from the first book but i'm super excited for all of these books you guys my camera is about to die perfect time perfect time because i'm about to close out this video but thank you guys so much for watching those were all of the books that i would like to read this month if you have any recommendations spooky october fall recommendations but thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll, I'll see you guys next time bye